Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing excellent. Um, and I just, I'm here. I just finished doing some videos again for you guys. But anyway, um, I am overwhelmed with so many people who've actually reached out to me and thanked me for posting videos about my current state, my, uh, my condition, my mental health condition, you know, things that I worry about, things that I have doubts on, and it feels good to know that my efforts in doing all these videos um, are being appreciated and it actually helps people. Um, when I do videos like this, it's more like me wanted to look back on the things that I said during a certain time, the things that I would think um, that would make me feel like, hey, I, I grew I grew up from that moment, that time when I used to think a certain way. And I'm happy that you guys are all a part of it. Uh, what I wanted to share today is being grateful. I know this is something that I've shared so many times already. But this morning, I woke up thinking I don't celebrate a lot of my small victories. And I want to ask you guys. Are you guys in the same boat? Do you guys celebrate little steps, little victories along the way for your big goal or your big dream before you accomplish that? There's little steps along the way that you take. It's kind of like, I don't know, this is the only way I could describe it. When I was a young kid, I always loved to play Mario Brothers. Shout out to all the 90s, 80s kids. Um, the old school Mario Brothers, wherein you have to save the princess at the end of the game, right? But before you get to that stage, you have to go through little stages or like major stages within minor stages. You know what I mean? So, so those little stages, those little challenges that you go through before the actual saving the actual princess are challenges that you actually go through right now for you to, for you to be able to get to your dreams or to your goals, correct? And those little victories should be celebrated. And sometimes most of us are too focused and I'm not saying just like as if it's most of us, even myself included. We're too focused on the things that we do not have. We're too focused on looking at your friends, your family members, your relatives, your people that you grew up with, people on the same age, thinking that, ah, why does he have that and I cannot have that? We're too focused on that, but we don't see that there are things in our life that are working. There are so many things that in your life is actually supposed to be celebrated like for instance for myself not too long ago about a month or end of august okay less than two months i actually lost classes and it kind of like disheartened me and questioned myself i doubted myself without seeing that it ended because it's a contract it ended because you know people have moved on people don't go to the center anymore but I took it upon me that maybe I'm not good enough maybe they don't like me right but then I also believe that sometimes God clears the path for you so that you can go ahead and have an opening for new energy new people and new opportunities that is meant to be for you right now I am overwhelmed and I mean it overwhelmed and this is the problem that every individual freelance instructor just like myself which um, teaching is my full-time job right my job right now is so much like I have so much opportunities that my problem is where to fit them in my schedule and I'm that's overwhelmed with as many schedules that is coming up my way and I didn't realize that there are things that I should be celebrating until a center who, which just opened up last week those students that goes there used to be my student even before the pandemic right but i stopped working in that center because they closed down and they, when they reopened they gave me only two scale classes right but the students themselves asked the director we want dicky for zumba so guess what i said let me give you one class but the director said i approve you for two more classes so then i realized looking back I'm so happy, I'm so blessed, I'm so fortunate to have people around me that believe in the things that I can do. 
that believe that I can make the difference or for people who actually allowed me to make that difference in them. Um, I am so grateful with the talent that was given to me by God. You know, I could consider myself as not the best dancer. I don't even move as much as other people can move. But all I have is the passion and the energy that I have inside me. The willingness to actually make that difference in your life. So that's what I have. That's what I have. I wake up each morning, no matter how tired I am, no matter how exhausted I am, I know, I know that it's all gonna be worth it. At the end of the day, I would feel excited. I would feel thankful. I would feel grateful that I am able to create that impact to just even one person in each day that I am alive for me to be able to make that difference to them makes means the world to me so i want to share that with you to inspire you guys to celebrate the little things little things that you accomplish each day like at the end of the day you should be writing a journal of like the things that you want to be thankful for things that you've actually accomplished i know it might not be easy because i try i try my darndest best to actually write on a daily basis but sometimes life gets in the way and it's not possible sometimes but for you to be reminded you know always be grateful always think about the things that you've actually accomplished things about that you actually would like to celebrate you know there's the world the life is too short for you to wait until you celebrate for a big big celebration right because each day should be a celebration the fact that we are here right now that we are leaving leaving we are living we are breathing we are excited to live life and so i'm sharing this with you guys because i want you guys to be inspired to practice being grateful being grateful on a daily basis on a daily basis and you know why this is important because i know that when people are grateful then the less that they get depressed when i start to look at the things that i am grateful for then I don't have time to think about the things that I am depressed on. So I hope that this video has inspired you to live life with a grateful heart, to always be thankful for the things that you are encountering. And then if you are faced with a lot of challenges right now, remember that those challenges are placed in your way so that you can have a better opening and um, great things could happen in your life remember that an arrow is pulled back before it gets launched yeah so i hope that you guys continue to have a blessed and beautiful day or night depends on when you're watching this video and always 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 remember that you are not alone and that papi dicky loves you okay bye guys